name's Amanda Rosebourne and I am CEO and co-founder of the CPD Standards Office, which is part of the Professional Development Consortium. And I'm going to talk to you about CPD and the aesthetics and beauty industry. So over the past decade, this industry has just evolved exponentially. The demand for beauty and aesthetics treatments has never been stronger. The industry itself has seen huge amount of transformation. And what we are increasingly seeing is a demand and a conversation about increased regulation and standards. So what does this mean? What's happening? So with all of this demand for beauty and aesthetics treatments, we need to have a good amount of practitioners who can deliver these treatments safely and successfully. And so the role of a beauty and aesthetics practitioner is really changing. It's transformative. Never before has this industry needed a high level of skill, a high level of knowledge and competence, and increased amount of rules and regulations that sit around that. Now, all of this then leads to a demand for quality training. And at the moment, there is a huge number of training and aesthetics training providers. We have had a specialist accreditation in place over the last six years here at the CPD Standards Office, where we have worked with training providers in this area to make sure that they are meeting our independent standards, third party benchmarks, and ensuring that the treatments and the training that they offer is absolutely the strongest quality that it can be. Now, one of the problems that beauty providers have, that's beauty and aesthetics training providers have, is standing out from the crowd. It's becoming a really increasingly competitive market. And what practitioners are looking for is a badge of quality is an independent recognised standard that enables them to choose one training company over the other. And so we are always delighted to work with a training provider in this industry to take them through our specialist beauty and aesthetics accreditation criteria and help them raise their standards to become one of the best providers of learning in the marketplace. And with that brings many, many benefits. We have worked with hundreds of providers, many, many beauty and aesthetics trainers, and we know that by having this badge of quality, not only attracts more practitioners and boosts your sales, but it also gives you an enhanced level of reputation. And alongside all of that, you also become part of our community, our global community, of training providers, speakers, coaches, employers. There's a whole ecosystem that you're welcomed into. So the value of CPD accreditation has never been higher. Because beauty practitioners are increasingly going to be regulated, there are strong needs not only for CPD, but also for lifelong learning in this area. So this brings us back to CPD accreditation and what value it has. And as I mentioned earlier, CPD isn't mandatory necessarily for all parts of this industry, but this change is coming, it is, it is evolving, and this is a bigger conversation that's now happening at government level. We've already got associations and institutes within the industry. So we've got Habia, the Hair and Beauty Industry Authority, we have the Beauty Guild. We have the British Association of Beauty, Therapy and Cosmetology. And we have the Federation of Holistic Therapists. So there's Javier, there's Babtech, and there's the FHT. And at the moment, it's Javier and the Beauty Guild that do have a specific requirement for CPD, which is 30 hours per annum. So what that means is that if you're a member of those organisations, you've got to do 30 hours CPD per annum. And as a training provider, that's a great opportunity because if you become CPD accredited, then not only can you deliver training, but then you can issue that CPD certificate to that practitioner who can then use it within their formal CPD record 
to complete their 30 hours of CPD per annum. So to become accredited with us, we've got three simple steps. The first is that you register after speaking to one of our specialist CPD advisors. Then we take you through our assessment process, which takes approximately six weeks. We don't have a pass or fail philosophy, but we work with you on every single piece of our criteria to make sure that you meet our standards and are able to cover our accreditation criteria. And as part of that, we have many templates and guidance notes. Our assessment team will hold your hand and walk you through the process so that when you become accredited and you're given the prestigious title of a formal accredited CBD standards provider, you'll also have a set of best practice recommendations, which again will help you improve delivering those learning experiences so overall, we know that there are many, many benefits of accreditation, some I've already outlined. Um, you improve your reputation, you're able to sell more training, and it just gives you a little bit of credibility. And it's a testament to show the world and your clients that you have taken the time to benchmark yourself against third party standards. So if you would like to become CPD accredited, if you would like to find out more, to speak to one of our CPD experts who are particularly knowledgeable about CPD in the beauty and aesthetics industry and about the changes that are taking place, then please do get in contact with us.